DJ Pro for Mac Jog Wheel Tutorial. This app was able to fit so many amazing features by having these kind of expansions that'll add new features, and the Jog Wheel is one of them as well. And now you may notice on my screen right here, there are no Jog Wheels, and this could be frustrating, and it's kind of difficult to find them. So the easiest way to do it is go up to your view, and then we're going to go down, and I was looking for jog wheel. I I've been trying this for days, but I couldn't find where it said jog wheel, so it says rotary. Rotary is what they're calling jog wheels because you could change it from jog wheel to vinyl, and I'll show you that in a second. Right now, none is selected, so if I switch over to jog, this is what you are going to see. The jog wheels up here, these are kind of Serato-like jog wheels. There's no information, and they are super small. In order to expand these and make these bigger, you can press this button over here. This is what the app calls the tools. So if you have shows tools over here on view, or if you press this button over here, now we have a bigger view of our waveforms and then we get these information. So it is going to display the BPM. So if I change the BPM over here, the BPM is going to change over here. It's going to say how much percentage we change the BPM. So it's negative eight. If we bring it back to zero, it'll say zero. And then we also get info about the time. So this means this song has been playing for two minutes, 24 seconds and has 25 seconds remaining. This is all very important information and it could help you know what's going on by just taking a glance at it. And I find it to be really helpful. And this is a really good feature. So that is with the jog wheels. But now if we go, if we go back to view, we could change them to vinyl. So with the tool selected, the vinyl is actually smaller. With the tools not selected, the vinyl is bigger. And these act as simulated record decks, and they work really well. Very accurate. And then these arms are actually active. So if you go all the way to the end, it'll be the beginning of the song. And then if you bring it towards the middle, it'll be the end of the song. So it's the same thing as moving through these waveforms up here. You could scrub through the track with these arms, and it makes it really cool, really easy. There's also a hidden on off button. So that'll turn on the track slowly, just like you were really powering up a record deck. You could do some DJ tricks like big BPM transitions because it makes kind of a cool noise. So that is how you use these real record decks. Now I'm going to change them back to jog wheels for now. So back to jog wheels. We're going to open our tools. So there we go. I want to show you some settings with these amazing jog wheels. We're going to go press the DJ Pro icon, go to settings, and now we're going to go all the way to the third to the end, which is appearance. And now we have some control over our jog wheel settings. So I'll bring this down. So here are our jog wheels. Style is extended. This is the one I would recommend you get the most surface area to do scratching. And when you're DJing with jog wheels, the bigger the jog wheels are, the more control you will have when you DJ. So you could either have compact dark, it's a little bit smaller and it's darker or you could do compact light. Whichever one works for your style of DJing and also your venue. If you're DJing outside at like a beach party, you're going to have difficult seeing things. So it might be beneficial to switch either from light to dark. Same thing if you're DJing in a very like dark nightclub or bar, you might want to adjust this so you could see what you're doing a little bit better. But I would just recommend keeping it on extended. Now I'm just going to switch these back to vinyl. So now we're back in vinyl. I'm just going to take this off. So now look at these jog wheels when we're in vinyl mode. If we have picture disc selected, that means the whole vinyl record is going to be the album art, whatever it says on the album art, the song, stuff like that. If we go to real vinyl, it's going to be similar to a real vinyl record where there's just going to be that sticker in the middle that gives you the information about the track. So these jog wheels are really responsive. They're probably the best jog wheels out of any DJ app. And if you guys want to see my full tutorial on my full beginner tutorial about this amazing app for the MacBook, check out this video over here.